Hey everybody, Brick and Brute here, and today on November 16th, there was an absolutely huge review dump on YouTube and Instagram. Not sure if you guys heard, but Avengers Tower is coming out, and the Orient Express. Two sets that I've been anticipating for a while here, I'm really excited to see them come out. But to be honest with you guys, I do have mixed feelings about one of them. In particular, the knowledge that the Orient Express does not come with the ability to motorize the set through LEGO instructions, which to me is a huge disappointment. The issue is the train is just too heavy, it's too large, and the motor just can't pull the entire train around the tracks. I think it's possible maybe if you took the dining car or the sleeping car off, a motorized train could probably go around but that kind of takes the fun of having an entire set, just taking one of the parts off just to use it. I don't like that at all. Also, another option might be that the battery packs usually have two outputs. Maybe there's a way to connect two motors to the uh, train and have it going around. That's possible, I think. I don't know. At least LEGO made this set with the ability to go on their regular LEGO train tracks and didn't do what they did with the large Hogwarts Express. I grew up with a love of trains, so to get a train model in LEGO form is always going to be exciting for me. But uh, so I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm mad, but I'm definitely disappointed that uh, right off the bat they're letting us know that you can't motorize it just using their instructions. Does this mean that the train's never gonna go around the train track? No, absolutely not. The online LEGO community will definitely find a solution for it and it'll be up there. There'll probably be a few solutions for it. So I just gotta wait for that, unfortunately. All right, so let's get back to the happier news that came out today, the reviews and live builds of Avengers Tower. It's absolutely gorgeous and way better than I expected. However, if you Google Avengers Tower, most images show a building at the base of the tower. So I'm not surprised that LEGO didn't add in a base to this tower. And you know what? I'm not even disappointed. However, this has now led me down a path to want to add a base to our upcoming tower so that it looks more like the movies that we all love. And just like the eventual motorization of the Orient Express by the online LEGO enthusiasts, bases for the Avengers Tower have started to spring up, and in particular, the creator Brick Artisan has come up with five variations to add to the tower, at least five variations during the making of this video. The last instructions that Brick Artisan came up with, I believe is the closest to the Avengers Tower in the movie. So making my life easier again, I'll go to rebrickable.com, download the instructions, buy all the parts off bricklink.com, wait for them to all pile in and wait for Avengers Tower to arrive. It would have been cool to have the base finished before the tower gets here, but that's not gonna stop me from building the tower as soon as I get our hands on it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos and live builds. Take care.